Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make a keto Belgian waffle. Let's get breakfast started right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to yeah so in light of the big chaffle craze that's going on out there we're going to make a traditional waffle so you may be sick of anything that's got awful <laughs> in the rest of the word. However, we've bought the waffle makers, so we might as well use them. Right. Now, we're not gonna use the little four inch uh, waffle maker that everybody's using for chaffles now. We're going to use a traditional Belgian waffle maker. Uh, this is one from Cuisinart that I got on Amazon. I will leave a link for it down below in the description. And this one was really inexpensive. It was like $40. It's very cute for the counter too. Yeah, I like, and plus I like it's upright so it doesn't take up a lot of room on the counter. Uh, but now this is, like I said, a traditional waffle, uh, but it's keto version. I love that. And it's super easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel could make it. Yay! Now, the one thing about this recipe is we are going to use a protein powder. We're going to use a keto chow for it, but you could probably use uh, some of the other protein powders, uh, just maybe a little bit drier. It's going to depend on what kind of protein they have in that protein powder, uh, but just experiment with the different kinds that are out there. And can you use different flavors of keto chow? Yeah, we're gonna use we're gonna use vanilla today, but I've experimented with this with all of the different flavors and they all came out the same. Awesome. So you ready to get into this? Yes. Okay, so let's put this to the side. It's all heated up so it may beep because we've got it plugged in heating up. Here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some coconut flour. Okay. We're going to need, obviously, some keto chow. And we have an industrial sized container of it. Well, I got these containers on the suggestion of Miriam, who is uh, Chris's wife, the owner of Keto Chow. Uh, and these things are awesome because it just like, they're nice and sleek, they fit in your cabinet well, they hold like a bag and a half of it. And I like the fact that they have like this lid that like locks, oh, nice. the lid locks on. So I like that. So again, we have the vanilla kind. We're gonna need some baking powder. Argo. Some eggs. There's These are the happy beef eggs. eggs. And then we need some butter. We're gonna use a tablespoon. Now I have already pre-melted a tablespoon to make the video just a little bit quicker. Thank you. And then finally, we're gonna use some liquid sweetener. And this is completely optional. It's just if you wanna have your waffles just be a little bit sweeter. I do. So uh, we're gonna use either Lancanto or you could use liquid stevia. This is kind of our fave. And with the vanilla keto chow, I found what really goes well with it is the Lancanto maple syrup. This stuff goes well on a boot. <laughs> I could eat a boot with this stuff. It just, it gives that waffle a perfect maple syrup taste and you don't need to have a whole lot of syrup on top of it. It is hands down my favorite sugar-free maple syrup. Like it is the best. Yeah. Your kids won't even know the difference. No, it is really good. I'll leave a link for it down in the description. And that's all we're going to need to get started. Awesome. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, we already have pre-melted a tablespoon of butter. Okay, See that in there. I'm gonna get the stuff over here. Now what you're gonna do is two table, uh, one tablespoon of keto chow. Ooh. The keto chow is this one. One tablespoon is all? One tablespoon, make sure you level it off. It's going to be about seven to eight grams depending on the flavor you're using. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna use a tablespoon of coconut flour. Oh, I just... You broke our container. I broke the container, so there's that. It's a little clumpy, like that? Well, no, fill it up. There you go. We've got a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Boop. Just a little hint. This has a thing on it with a um, lid. <laughs> yay! <laughs> okay. How many drops? Two oh. eggs. Two. Okay, I'm gonna not get that in the bowl. 
Can't even break it this time. I'm making you do it all because people have said that like, I'm doing too much for you on So Easy Rachel Can Make have It. Have we been cheating on our research paper here? Oh my goodness, look at the size of that yolk. Yeah, that one is huge. Okay, now um, we're gonna use the maple syrup and you wanna use the Lincanto. I really kinda wanna use the maple okay, syrup. Okay, so with the sweetener, I found um, usually about five to six drops if you're using Lincanto or if you're using stevia. Uh, with this, just maybe like one teaspoon at most, of maybe like a little bit less than a half of a cap. You can even put about a cap. Capful? Now the one thing about yeah. using, yeah, that's good. Now the one thing about this is you are adding some carbs with this one, some total carbs. Whereas with the liquid Lakanto, you're not adding any total carbs. So how many drops would you probably put in? About five to six. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to just uh, whisk it up and try to get all of the lumps out. I feel like it's worth it to have that maple syrup like flavor baked in. It's worth a couple of carbs because you could totally use this and make your own McGriddle. And just in case anybody is interested in the carbs and how much you're adding to this, so a serving size of this is two tablespoons, and that's gonna be nine total carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, and five sugar alcohol. So it would be one net carb for, for two, two tablespoons. tablespoons. You're putting in like probably about a teaspoon just to give it a little bit of sweetness. So you're not gonna really add much carb to it. Are you ready? So we're making one giant one. We're making you, one big waffle. But you could put it in the dash. You could, it would make four of the little waffles. Okay, so this is about how you want your batter to be. You That's, don't want it to be too thick, but not too it thin. It is beautiful. If it is a little thick, just add a few drops of water. Okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna open this one up. I forgot that's hot, I just touched it. And I'm just gonna spray, we have a little bit of coconut spray left. We have, we have to get some more. Ready? Yep. And you just pour it down the top? Just pour it right down the top. That's it. I love it. I'll let me get you a spatula. Now with this one here. Don't miss any good drops of deliciousness. With this one here, what it happens is, is you're gonna think you didn't put a lot in there. Uh-huh. And it starts at the bottom and it just keeps rising. If you look inside of there, you're gonna see like, oh my gosh, it's not full. If you watch inside of it and you're gonna see it just keeps rising and rising and rising and rising. Wow, that's kind of cool. So it actually makes slightly more than this if you get the right consistency of the batter. Because look, here it comes in, it's coming up and it's gonna stop right around the top and sometimes it overflows just the top, just a little bit. Wow. That is a cool like little science experiment going on. <laughs> there we go, see it? Oh my goodness, it's coming. It's the blob. Remember that movie? <laughs> the blob. Now we do have this one set on five, so we're going to let it continue heating up and brown and when it's done, we'll come right back. Yay! Okay, so it's, I don't know, been about four or five minutes, yeah. right? We're gonna open this thing up and you're gonna see, oh, it's got a little nub on the top. <laughs> it's like a bonus pancake. It, it kind of bubbled out the top a little bit, but that's why I like this one because it's not gonna bubble out the side. Is that the part you can share with Tabitha? So we'll just take that piece right off. The Tabitha So this was a little extra piece. <laughs> Not gonna be that sad. piece is really good because it's kind of like undercooked. I like that. Oh, let's grab a fork. Well, we can't have a waffle without more butter on top, so I've no. got some butter over here. We'll do an extra tablespoon, half a tablespoon a piece. Yeah, please. I'll put you in there for you. I'll put some over here for me. Do you want more maple syrup? Just a little bit. I'm not a. I'm not huge on having it completely. Well, how about I'll give you a little bit on one. Then. And you want it on both. Yeah. I don't even put a lot. I just want like a little bit. I never wanted my maple syrup to make my pancake or waffle soggy. No, no. Now again, you can leave this in there a little bit longer or take it out more depending on how like crispy you want it. Gotta get a little bit more butter on it. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Wait a minute, now I gotta get mine. Dink. Wow. You honestly cannot tell nope. that this is like not a standard waffle. No way. Even though I've like poured syrup on this, I'm gonna rip this up and kind of take a look at this, guys. You can look and it is like it is super fluffy inside. Bread I don't know if it's like focusing on my face or the waffle, but hopefully it's focusing on the waffle. It's like, it's you've gone to IHOP. Yeah. 
right? I now mean, here you want to trace the the undercooked piece? Yes, I do actually. <laughs> oh, I'll trade you here. That's so funny. The undercooked part is a little bit eggy. Yeah, it's almost like a French toast. So you've got like eggs and waffles. Yeah, now sometimes you'll get that piece bubbling up on this one and sometimes you want it. It all goes by how fast you pour it into the machine and how thick is it and that kind of stuff. You better know that I'm going to find exactly how I have to pour it in such a way that I get both the waffle and the little <laughs> nub. Now, um, what I like about this recipe, I'm going to have one more piece here. Wow. This is a great breakfast, it's a great meal. They freeze really well. Mm -hmm. What I do is I put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer, and then take them out, stick them in the toaster oven, stick them in your air fryer. We can unplug this so it stops beeping. He's like, I wanna make more. Or you can even put it in the microwave if you want it kind of soft. So let's go over the macros on it. So now the macros are going to completely depend on which one of the keto chows you use or, or whatever protein powder you use, because mm -hmm. they're all slightly different, but not by much. So uh, on average, you're gonna be about 290 calories per waffle for the this whole is a waffle. Giant waffle. Right? 22 grams of fat. It's gonna be 17 grams of protein, five total carbs, four um, grams of fiber. Oh my goodness. One net carb one... for the entire waffle. Oh my goodness. So if you take this waffle, and this is what we did for dinner yesterday, right? Yep. We did a waffle, mm -hmm. then we did two eggs. I'm continuing to go in. And a, a couple of slices of bacon. It was like 650 calories. It was like a perfect dinner, perfect keto macros. Mm -hmm. And it was, you get this giant waffle with a couple of eggs and some bacon. It's and, really nice. And you don't feel sad. No, and I, I'm i telling you, your kids will love this. No, I, they were absolutely right. I'm saying no, but yeah, they will absolutely love it. I've been making it just to have them in the freezer for Caleb too, for running to school. Yeah. And he's getting a keto waffle, but you have no idea it's keto. Wow. So, last piece that I'm gonna eat. This recipe would make the perfect McGriddler sandwich. Mm-hmm. If you use it in a dash. And again, use it in a little dash. You're gonna get four of the waffles. You may even get more depending on how thick you make the batter. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can make, so now you can have, you have two of those. 150 calories, put some egg inside of it, put a piece of sausage inside of it, 350, 400 calories for a McGriddle sandwich. The breakfast sandwich is back. Yes, so good job. Yay! So that is our video for today. If you guys make this, do us a favor, let us know down in the comment section, let us know what flavor keto chow or protein powder you use with it. If you try a different protein powder, let us know in the comment section so that other people may pick up those other ones as well. Yeah. Okay, so if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.